Hello viewers you're watching Public TV English we bring you the major updates of today Several devotees who slept in the courtyard of the Mantralaya but last night suffered due to heavy rain and no proper shelter. The 353rd Aradhana Mahotsava of Guru Raghavendra Swami was celebrated in the mat and devotees had come from all over the state. Due to rain there was no place to sleep and the devotees had to wander around. Upon receiving the information about devotees the mat's pontiff Subudendra Tirtha Swami ji made alternative arrangements. The mat staff provided space for devotees to sleep inside the mat's compound and lecture hall After the Karnataka High Court adjourned to August 29th hearing on his plea against sanction given by the governor to file corruption cases against him over alleged Muda scam CM Sidramaiah said he has full faith in the constitution and the judiciary's power to uphold justice In a post on X Sidramaiah emphasized that the truth will prevail Sidramaiah said he is grateful to the High Court and added that he remains confident that ultimately the truth will prevail The Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachud has raised significant concerns regarding the widespread publication of the victim's name and photos in the tragic case involving the Kolkata RG Car Medical College and Hospital. He underscored the critical importance of safeguarding the privacy and dignity of victims in such sensitive matters. The Supreme Court has constituted a 10 member national task force to make recommendations on the prevention of violence and safe working conditions for medical professionals. The court also raised questions about the actions of the Kolkata police. The court observed that crime was detected in the early hours of the morning but there was a delay in filing the FIR. The Supreme Court reiterated that until late at night there was no FIR registered that suggested it was a clear case of murder. Two young girls were allegedly sexually assaulted in Badlapur of Maharashtra. Following the incident, protests erupted at Badlapur railway station in Thane district on Tuesday. Local trains were stopped and agitators blocked the tracks after an alleged sexual assault with two minor girls in a school in Badlapur last week. An SIT is already formed in this matter and the government will take action against the school where the incident took place, Chief Minister Eknath Shinde said. Former India all-rounder Yuvraj Singh's remarkable journey from his legendary career to his off-field battles is going to be chronicled in a biopic. Bhushan Kumar and producer Ravi Bhakchandka are collaborating to bring Yuvraj Singh's life to the big screen. The film will capture the life and career of cricket sensation Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj Singh hopes the film inspires others to overcome their own challenges and pursue their dreams with unwavering passion. The film is co-produced by Ravi Bhakchandka, renowned for Sachin A Billion Dreams and Sitare Zameen par. Yuvraj was the first Indian player to hit successive sixes in an over in international cricket, doing so during during the 2017-20 World Cup against England.